corn covering Auntie Griselda. That would be awesome. I'm going to think about it right now. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Boys Podcast, episode 74. 74? We're about to hit that magic number 75. And uh, you know, it's interesting because we talked about perhaps doing a live show. Right. But we're going to save it for the 100 spot. You know, I'm glad, I'm glad we didn't do that. I think it's, I think it's worth I think the wait. it's better to do the 100. Absolutely. Mm. To get things started. Yep. A little business. Biz. We're going to start it out. Biz cash. We're going to be. You're dressed pretty biz cash today. <sighs> Let's not bring up. Okay. We won't bring up what you're wearing. You can. You can. He's wearing sweatpants and. Uh, They're Drake's. They're Drake's. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's Drake's? You, get just, you go down to Ross Dress for Less. No, no. What, what are Drake's? You though? get just some Drake's. Is it Drake? It's like the rapper? Yeah. He's got his own line of sweatpants? Well, these are Reebok. But. I call them Drake's, man. You know, they're like sweatpants that are kind of fitted. Oh, for a second, I thought like Drake had his own line of sweatpants. He probably does. <laughs> Doesn't him. he have a brand? Hey, man, you got to monetize. I don't even know what Drake sounds like. I'm assuming he sounds, hey, man, you got to monetize that shit. That's sweatpants. pretty close. That's pretty close. You never heard Drake before? No. You never heard Hotline Bling? No. Nope. I got a hot. Is that when he's wearing like a giant turtleneck and like tossing shit? Tossing I think pizza? he's just doing toss motions. I don't think he's actually tossing anything. Anyways, the difference between sweatpants <laughs> and quote unquote Drake's. Yeah. Are they're the a little fitted? Yeah, they're kind of like bigger at the top. Yeah. They go down. They they um they taper. I feel like Josh Lathy last night at the comedy thing was wearing some of those. They were black. He is probably wearing. I I call them Drakes or like there's like Westbrooks, which yeah. are jeans that kind of look like sweatpants. I think that's what he's wearing. And sometimes they have like knee yep, pads. They had sewn a knee in pad on it had for a knee sucking pad dick. On for s- Josh Lathy is it Lathy or Lathy? I think it's Lathy. Big dick sucker in my probably. No, I don't. He's I'm, a good dude. He needs to come on the podcast. Sucks a good dick. dick. Let's get him on. Let's get him on. Let's get him on to suck our dicks. Boys Podcast. Oh, boy. Coming in hot. A hub of all things boys. It is. There you will find links to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Twitter. Go there. Check out an app. There's a golden donate button. Think about donating. Or not. Don't think about it. Do it. Or don't. Or just do it. Boys Podcast is available on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud. You can rate, review, subscribe, share with a friend. Email us at boys at boyspodcast.com. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. Question, comment, concern, criticism. Hit us up, include your physical address, and we'll send you some stickers. We'll and do it. I we'll think that's it. very nice of us. I'm going to pat ourselves on the back that's, for that. It's so nice. We're such nice guys. I mean, we could stand to do less, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're really putting it out there. Thanks to our sponsors, Anthem Brewing, Good Bees. Good beers. They got the Oktoberfest. Good beer to drink after you suck a man's dick. It really washes that cum out. Or a woman's. Fat, fat Bison. Fatbison.com. Maker of great wood. Good guy. Good wood. Likes getting his dick sucked, by the way. Talked oh, to him last night on the phone. He said, hey. Th- first really? things first. <laughs> well, you know, well, it was last thing. He was like, hey, man, first of all, I really appreciate the plugs on the show. I'm mm-hmm. selling hundreds of signs. Yeah. My good wood is spreading across this land. Mm-hmm. And by the way, I really like getting blowjobs. Click. <laughs> so, yeah. Later. Click. Like, that's a thing that even happens anymore. You don't click. You go, boop. No, you can't angrily hang up a phone. I'm sure that's a bit. A it, it is. You can't scouter. even angrily hang up the phone anymore. What's got, the deal with cell phones? What's the deal with the touch screen? And now the new iPhone, it doesn't even have the home thing. I go home. Fatbison.com. Okay, see, comedy, are you ready to laugh your dick or pussy off? Depends on the show, let's be honest. Yeah. But Friday, October 27th, we got Hacksaw Jim Dugan for the guys and the gals. Come in, check him out. Ha cha cha! Is that what he says? No. Okay. He goes, <laughs> Hotline Bling. Okay. That was his catchphrase. I bet he will. Oh, I hope not. Mm. Oh, by the way, OKCComedy.com, they got some new merch up. Yeah. It's looking fly. For, for I I said wow I think that was F R L Y Furly fly fly I was gonna say fresh and then I changed it to fly well, because you use both terms that are outdated and nobody uses <laughs> anymore you just kind of mix them together as one congealed word they've got some funky fresh new teas hey man uh you want to get jiggy with it get some oh. of their fresh f- fuck threads <laughs> with a Z these threads are the bee's knees they're super keen <laughs> and tubular. <laughs> Whatever. Ooh, Leslie, thank you for your donations, your tweets, your comments, your downloads. We just hit over 11,000 downloads. We're closing in on 12,000. They're racking up, and it means the world to us. 12 Gs. We're 12 Gs deep in this boy's endeavor, and uh, we thank you guys a lot for listening. I feel like there's probably a porno titled 12 Gs Deep. Mm. Oh, I ain't going to watch that one. (laughs) 12 gangbangs. 12 grandmas, Oh, right. 
Ugh. Ooh, I made some cocoa. Cum My pussy's gra- dry. Come covered grannies. Come covered <laughs> grannies. That's so gross. <laughs> well, thank you guys for listening. Yeah. Thanks uh, for if sticking. You're still listening. If you're still listening, we've probably offended lots of people. Episode 74 featuring ourselves. 75. 74. 75 is next. Jesus Christ on a cracker. Episode 74 featuring ourselves. It's always good to crunch ice in them. Yeah. (laughs) Whatever you do. Crunch ice in them. Chunch. I just said chunch. chunch? What's the what the fuck? Hey, I went to American Broadcasting School in Dell City. I know how to not crunch ice in a microphone. It's actually a maneuver. You chunch it. You You put it in the side. You move away. You chunch it. You put it in the back. You Dave Grohl that shit. You chunch away. You chunch it. How you doing, Josh? I'm great. It's Sunday. We're back again, and we're doing this. I tried to think of another Sunday song, but I couldn't do it. I know of the band The Sundays. And it's you and me in the summertime. That's one of their songs. Perfect. Hey, if you haven't heard The Sundays, they're fucking great. So uh, I woke up this morning after a a, uh, long night of D&D. Had a great time with the OG group. Had some laughs. Dick and dong. Had some pizza. What kind of pizza did you get? Well, we do a variety. Did you do a takeout? We do a delivery. Mm -hmm. And everybody gets their own pizza. Do you, that's the way the that's the way the uh, the Italians do it. Do it, do it. Do it from one. <laughs> that's how the, the Italians. You order in. You call they, pa, you call Papa John. Yeah, literally, your father John. <laughs> hey, I need the, the pizza. Oh, bring me over a pizza or one hey, or two. Oh, 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 go drive your Geo Metro over to my house and bring me the half of the pizza. Geo Metro. Is there a lot of Geo Metros in Italy? In Little Italy? Little Italy. Little Italy. Why is there not a rapper named Little Italy? That'd be tight. He just raps about spaghetti. Hey, spaghetti. I like it hot. I like my sauce and put it in a pot. <laughs> That's so terrible. Oh, this wow. is going to be a shitty episode. <laughs> we anyway, each, so you got pizza. We each get our own pie. From the same place. Yes. No, we go. We call five <laughs> different pizza delivery places. That'd we be sh- dope. Actually. We should do that. You're just racking up delivery but, but, fees. No, but at the same, call them at the same, have five different dudes, order five guys, and see who gets there the fastest. Five guys? I thought we were talking pizza, you not order, You call five different pizza joints, and you see which one shows up first. And Or when they all meet up together, can you imagine like five different pizza guys showing up? It's like, like you show, wait, who's this guy? Why is he? Why are they getting Mazios? I can just imagine each of them are going like, am I at the wrong house? What the real? This can't be happening. What? Wait, You? Three large peps? That's weird. What if you ordered the same pizza from each place Mm -hmm. to get a real round robin tournament of flavor? Oh. Like you take a slice. Maybe you do some blind taste testing. That's always fun. You do a bracket. You'd like a bracket of who has the best pizza. Have you ever, have you, have you ever been a part of a blind taste test? Yes. Really? At Crossroads Mall. What, okay, was it for one of the, was it the testing it facility? Was the sur- yeah, it was by that survey guy in the back. I, I did that a lot of times. You know when you're... Well, they, so it was cum, feces, blood. And I knew exactly which, and I could tell you for where, who it was from. Me? Yeah. <laughs> I set up a tent right when you parked. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was for, I can't remember, it was a new Pepsi product they were putting out and they wanted to like see if you could tell the difference between like a Pepsi and a cola or whatever. Did you, did, so did they tell you the results? Yeah. What you actually drank was Pepsi Max. Hold on. It was for Pepsi Max, I think, or some sort of extreme Pepsi beverage. So was it the Pepsi Challenge? I think it was the Pepsi Challenge. Or is the Pepsi Challenge strictly Pepsi versus Coke? I think it was I think it was Pepsi versus Coke. Let's be honest, man. Soda is soda. Uh, I don't know. We all have our Okay, let's let's slow down here. Mm-hmm. We're not we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I don't want to get ahead of me, but I I don't want to get ahead of me. <laughs> right. Uh that's my new, I have an, a self-help book I'm writing called <laughs> Ahead of Me. Ahead of Me. Um, so since we're talking about Coke, just real quick. It's been coming up a lot recently. Mr. Pibb versus Dr. Pepper. Okay. I think Making Mr. Pibb is extreme. Mr. Mr. Pibb is the best. If you get Pibb X, is it Pibb X? What is it called? Pibb Extra. It's Pibb with extra caffeine. It's the shit. Dr. Pepper is a white, I'm throwing it out there. Dr. Pepper is a white trash. If Dr. Pepper was a person, it would be those Charlottesville protesting dickheads. Really? Dr. Pepper is a neo-Nazi. Really? I'm throwing it out there. We got him an Operation Paperclip in 1945. Dr. Pepper's a Nazi. So you think... And Mr. Pibb is the working man. 
Pib is. I do think Pib is a working man's soda, but it's a better. It's a better beverage, or it might be an unemployed man's soda. Write us in at boys boys at boyspodcast dot com. Let us know Pib versus Pepper. So I got some Pib mm-hmm. the other day. Where were we? Where I got Pib? Chipotle. Was it Chipotle? Ah, uh, I got that Robbie refill on the way out. Mm-hmm. Order the water, sneak the soda on the way out. What's yep. funny? Guilty as charged. Chipotle. Chipotle makes you feel like a piece of shit for getting a water cup because they give you a tiny little white cup and then it has like a water drop and it says water only on it and you're like you know what chipotle go fuck yourself they also recently had a sign mm-hmm. on the coke machine that was like an engraved placard mm-hmm. that said order water please get water or something like that mm-hmm. like we see you getting that refill and i thought that they put that up for me this is cameras on you yeah here's the thing man if you don't want me to put coke in my my cup don't put your fucking coke machine out in, in the in the in the lobby, yeah. Put it behind your fucking thing. I just get a little taste, it's a little you know? sliver, just a little small taste. Listen, of you charge me eight dollars for a shitty burrito. I'm gonna take a fucking sip of pib no. extra. Stealing is stealing, and I guess I'm a thief when it comes to soda. However, soda thief. When I stole, could you imagine punk band? Or could you imagine like printed out on a black and white printer mm-hmm. right next to the register at like a Del Taco? It's like this man steals soda and yeah. it's a g- grainy picture of, of me you. like with a burrito half hanging out of my mouth because we're in a hurry to get back to but work. But it's a picture. It's like one of those like uh, what do they call those? The cameras, security camera footage. Yeah. So it's like at an angle and it's downward. But it's you doing the thing where you think if you hold it because you say this, if you hold it at face level, they can't see inside the cup. You keep that rim yeah. of the glass at eye level. But the camera can see inside your oh, yeah. cup. The camera sees right through me. Your honor, the liquid in the cup is clearly brown. That is not water. Yeah. We we pulled 10 people. They all said that oh. was brown. Actually, gray liquid because it's a black and white photo. Sure. So. What are we talking about before we start pib. talking about? Okay. Okay. So I got some pib the other day mm-hmm. for the first time in a long time. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm a Pepsi man. I love Pepsi. Did you grow up in a Pepsi household? No. Okay. I'm a recent Pepsi man. Did you grow up in a Shasta household? I grew up in a Dr. Pepper household. Um. Wink. Uh, it was... Dr. Pepper now, can all I ask the you time. This? Was it Dr. Pepper or was it Dr. Thunder? It was Pepper. Okay. We did not scrimp on our carbonated beverages. True. I my, might have my, ate my, pecan my, danishes. My pe- pecan, pecan danishes. Pizza delights. Pizza delights. Um, I might have eaten neither of those mac were things. and cheese. Um, it's, it's a long story. Uh, my house was the candy house. It was a snack house. It was known as the snack house. You did have a lot of snacks at your house. Uh, and we also had stacks of what do you call those cases of cola beverages there was some diet coke regular coke there was uh are you uh, talking like sixers in the cardboard fresca no like it's like a 12 pack okay so there's always soda and there is two in the fridge cold and it's almost like the beer thing when that's empty you put that shit back in let that shit get cold right uh so yeah we were we were a strictly coca-cola product household okay so what were you rocking like like in junior high, et cetera? Coca Cola classic. Or I was the here's the thing. I was an RC Cola guy, which apparently was a shittier like it's the Mr. Pib, Dr. Pepper, RC Coke conundrum. I never liked RC. Royal, Royal Crown. Crown Cola. Royal Crown. More like royally crappy. <laughs> uh-huh. More like really shitty but with the But you know C. what? Royal oh. Crown goes really good with Crown Royal whiskey. Are you sure? I'm fuck. I'm, dude, try it. Next time you go to a bar, ask if they have RC Cola. <laughs> you know what? Do that. Next time you go to a bar and you order a Jack and Coke or something, like, but do you got like a, like Shasta Cola or? I'm going to th- really throw them off and be like, could I get a Royal Crown and Coke? Ooh. Hold the ice. Hey, what? I Th- brought my own I'm, RC. There are no bars. I'm going to be bold. There are no bars that have RC Cola. I'm going to open one. Like, we're not going to have guns. We're going to have. RC Cola, our uh, your energy drink. Speaking of, hold on. Si- we're gonna do a. This is the beverage app. The bev. App. All right. Uh, Just talking bevs. We went on a break the other day at work, and we went to the on queue, and I got a little snacky because I was hung- hungry. What'd you get? Uh, I got some like veggie straws. Well, I got veggie straws and a little sliver of wasabi peanuts. Oh yeah, you did. And then I wanted. I needed a pick me up. So I can get an energy drink. And I was looking at Old Glory, making a joke. And Dylan goes, have you ever drank it? No, never had Old Glory. The 99 cent red, white, and blue tall can. He talked me into it. I got it. I drank it. Doesn't it have an eagle on it? Yes. Let's American just make flag. sure. Let's American make sure we're on the same page. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's fucking delicious. 
Really? Old Glory is really fucking good. Are you a Glory boy? I don't drink energy drinks. But I'm saying, in the future, if I ever need one, Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Old Glory. So my bar is going to have Old Glory instead of Red Bull. It'll be Old Glory and vodka. Old Glory and vodka. Mm -hmm. Royal Crown and Coke. Wait, Royal Crown and Crown Royal. Yeah. What else? What kind of other um, subpar mixers are you going to (laughs) stock? Subpar mixers? Uh, Sunny Delight as my orange juice. Ah, yes. Yes. Purple stuff. Yeah. You use like some purple stuff and codeine? Make some purple drink? Well, that'd that's be already a, a thing. That'd be illegal. Oh. Is it illegal? C- well, to serve giving, codeine in a bar? Serving codeine in a bar. Well, well, there's no, hey, there's no law saying I can't. What if it's a doctor themed bar and all the drinks are like prescription medication? Yeah. And then you have like the purple drink, but it's really like purple. It's like purple Kool Aid and like Everclear <laughs> or something. You, you have to sign a waiver when you walk in. Like, if you get fucked up on purple stuff, we are not liable for what happens to you and your person. Have you ever had drank? drank? No. Like like legit drank? No, I've wanted to. I have. I've wanted to. I've had the uh, stuff they sell in the gas station. The it's a purple it, that, can. Not real. It knocked me out. I got sleepy as shit. But that's just alcohol. Yeah. Like, have you ever had purple or what is it? Codeine cough syrup and, and like, Sprite. Yeah. No. And a Jolly Rancher. Or maybe no. I'm getting my Zemas confused here. And a dick. Yeah, no, a, cu- never, a couple of balls just rested atop I've the never, ice. I've never had that. It was very popular, though. I tried some one night, mm-hmm. and boy, was it strong. I don't like being slowed down. It was, I would. I don't think I'd do it again. Mm-hmm. Like, this was years ago. It's like, ah, fuck it. You know, what, what's what's all the hype about? Give me a sip of that. Hey, kids, you guys got that drink? Ah, oh, I guess I'll try it. What's Get, the hype? <laughs> got any purple drink lying around? Really thirsty. So I had a big, uh-huh. it was in a styrofoam cup as, as prescribed. There's a gas station by my house that sells that, but they don't put the coating in it. It's called purple drink. It's on a fucking, it's like they just took a piece of computer paper and drew a styrofoam cup with purple shit in it. And it just says, we have purple drink. What? It's at Boss Man's on May Avenue. Is it just purple Kool-Aid? I'm not sure. I'm sure there is some sort of a Sprite with purple food some, coloring. They might even put fucking codeine in it. I mean, it's a bodega. Who knows what goes down in there? You think they're just wasting codeine by pouring it in a vat? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to try it out. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, so it's a came in a styrofoam cup. Back to the uh, PIB. Back to the lecture at hand. I like PIB. Mm-hmm. I think PIB is good. Mm-hmm. But I'm a Pepsi guy. I was. I grew up being a Dr. Pepper boy. Kind of went through a brief, I call it my Coke period. Mm -hmm. And then got coked out. Yeah, then now I'm a Pepsi man. Yeah. I I fucking love Pepsi. You know what else I love? Hmm. Wild cherry Pepsi. That's a rarity. That's a nostalgic beverage. They because they were they were trying to market against the cherry coke, which is a super popular item. But Pepsi always tries to one up. Oh, they do. So you have Pepsi Max. Mm -hmm. And you don't have cherry Pepsi, you have wild. Hey, this cherry Coca-Cola, that's your grandma's cherry. This shit is wild. This why this this cherry cola? This shit will do kick flips over your grandma's ass. Yeah, these cherries are wild. Yeah. I don't know if I would trust a wild cherry. Crystal clear Pepsi. It's not just clear Pepsi. It's crystal clear. Crystal clear. They love adjectives. They really do. <laughs> they love adjectives. Uh, or is that an adverb? I don't know. Describing an item? Yeah. It's crystal clear. Yeah. That's an adjective. Mm-hmm. Take me to school. Anyways, I don't know if I trust a wild cherry. Why? I want my Cherokee. Are you racist? I almost said Cherokees. What is wrong with me? Uh, I want my cherries... Grown in a lab. Somebody left some other things in here. I want my cherries yeah. in a lab. <laughs> Marachinos. I want them. I don't care. I don't care if they're wild or not. I don't know. Like, wild would them you, out. Would you. What makes it a wild berry? That's what I was wondering. Have I you s- eaten a wild berry before? Like picked a berry in the woods? Yes. You're not supposed to do that because that shit will fucking kill you. But I used to do it all the time. There was a the woods behind my house. It, there's like blueberry trees. Or at least I hope those are blueberries. We just fucking just pull shit off the thing and eat it. And I think there's like a poisonous uh, vine that grows berries too. Uh, I'm sure I probably poisoned myself at some point in time. <laughs> just not like, not to the lethal dose. Is that is that going in your book ahead of myself? Yeah. I think chapter four. I'm pretty sure I poisoned, I poisoned myself, myself at some time. <laughs> chapter five, I pissed my pants. Chapter six, I shit my pants. Chapters, uh, whatever. I had a, mm-hmm. speaking of drinks, 
Oh, I man. had a moment mm-hmm. last weekend. This, to, this is the Bev app. Yeah. Just, this is, oh, fuck it. It's all about beverages. It's all about the beverages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, I like that. I should put that in. I won't. Anyways, I had a drink moment at the fair. Uh huh. Went to the fair. Oh, yeah. With my girlfriend. Did you do the root beer mug or the jug, jug of root beer? I wanted to. That's a classic. It's a, you got to. It's a real $6 classic. I went to the fair with my wife. Uh, we decided to go for a, quote, fat kid day. We're just going to say all day and eat all the deep fried bullshit and that's it. It was also the night that Tony, Tony, Tony. Was mm-hmm. First thing we do, we walk in, go to that fucking root beer stand, get that jug. Was it frosty? It was frosty. It was great. I had a thought though. How do they get that ice in there? I think it's just they keep them at a temperature that the inside freezes a little bit. Oh, it gets kind of cushy. Yeah, you know, it's like when you leave a beer sure, or an RC gets, Cola in the freezer yeah. too long. So yeah. what did you do with your, what was your beverage? Well, your I thought about beverage? getting the root beer. Mm-hmm. Walked by. You fucked up? Not I doing did, it. I did. Okay. I did fuck mm-hmm. up. I really, I royally, I royal crownly fucked up here. I, I walked right by the root beer stand. Mm-hmm. Uh I was like, you know what sounds really good? A fresh squeezed lemonade. It's like a nice sunny day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, We're at mm-hmm, the fair. Mm-hmm. You're smelling the foods. Mm-hmm. Lemonade and corn dog. Yeah, exactly. That's it. That was my plan. Combo. There's so a I, reason why they're together in one booth. I go up to a tent and I noticed that the fair's having a special this year. Mm. You get the commemorative cup mm-hmm. for $6. It's like a 30 ounce cup, maybe it's a 24 cup. ounce cup. You, you buy that cup. Fill it up for six bucks. Mm-hmm. Then it participating stands, they'll give you a refill for three bucks. Yep. Pretty decent, mm-hmm. if you ask me. I'm a, I'm kind of a two drink guy at the fair. Yeah. I need my introductory drink. I need my walking around drink. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I'm good. Diana went to the iced tea stand. There's like an old fashioned iced tea stand. She got the commemorative cup. The lady who rang her up only rang her up for a refill. So she got the commemorative cup and a drink for three dollars. Dope. Did, now, did she get a refill? Or was it just the single? Was well, it just enough, the end? That's enough, Bev, because it was at, towards the end of the night. We were, I was waiting in line for a uh, cinnamon roll uh-huh. for her. She's like, I'm going to go get a, while well, we're waiting, and we'll get that. She came back, she's like, this is awesome. Ate the cinnamon roll, walked around for a little bit, and then left. So I walk by the root beer place. Yep. I go to the lemonade. You avoid the best beverage in the park. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought to myself, you know, maybe I'll start out with the lemonade, mm-hmm. kind of wake up the palate a little bit. Cle- yeah. Yeah. Then I'm going to sugar it up later. I'm going to sugarcoat it on the way out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I go and we we'll go to the stand and it's like fresh squeezed lemonade, blah, blah, blah. I was so stoked. Yeah. I was like, man, that sounds really good. It's starting yeah. to get a little warmer out. It's a beautiful sunny yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go up, I hand her the money. She puts ice in the cup and she walks over to the machine. <laughs> Fills it up out of a fucking fountain. That's not fresh squeezed. No. That's I got a lie. Fucked. That's a lie. But she was so friendly. Yeah. I couldn't say no. I already had given her the money. The deal has been done. Did you say anything? No. What, what kind of loser would I be if I was like, that's not fresh squeezed? <laughs> like, no. No. I, I would have. See, I would have done one of these. I'd been like, if they gave me the cover, I'd be like, I mean, it's not really that fresh. And then walk off. <laughs> That's like a Larry David moment. Like I'm just waiting to hear the womp 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 womp. I had a Larry David the Chipotle thing. We'll come back to the fair because you said Larry David. We're at Chipotle and I'm in line and I get a bowl and like they just fill up this. It's a bowl, but they're barely putting any food in it. And every time they ask me to like white or black, whatever black beans, whatever. And each time they ask, I'm like, I just look at them like, uh, I guess hot salsa. Are you guys going to put more food in that? And they get to the end and the lady's like, she's like 783 and she's like, something wrong. I'm like, there's just, there's not any food in this bowl. Dude, <laughs> I was standing next to you when, yeah. when, when we were going down the line. Now, was I wrong that there was not? Dude, oh. <laughs> you are not wrong. I fully support you. Yeah. Because that plate looked like fucking kindergarten lunch portions. Yeah. There was like. Okay, you know how in a spoon set, which mm-hmm. I never understood, it came with the big spoons yeah. and the little spoons. Yeah. Okay. The portions on your plate were little spoons. Were little they spoon were portions. Little spoons. Dude, crazy. I was like, you're gonna pay eight bucks for that? That it looked like what they did was portioned out like four bites on yeah. your plate. And like, I was like, bite uh, one, two, three, four. Oh okay. And then they gave it to me for free. And I was like, I'm not trying to be a dick. I said that I'm not trying to be rude. It's there's just not any food. I'll gladly pay for it if you do me one more round and just give me the actual amount of food I'm supposed to get. Well, see, usually a Chipotle burrito mm-hmm. is a nice, hearty meal. Mm-hmm. 
But I kind of had a complaint too. Now, mine wasn't as light as yours, but I ordered my normal burrito mm-hmm. and it was very small. Thin. They didn't really put, okay, lie to me, Chipotle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Listen, Jose Chipotle, mm-hmm. lie to me. <laughs> Fill it with rice. Jose Chipotle. Fill it with rice. <laughs> yeah. Fill it with rice. It, you're supposed to. I love when you go to a Chipotle or a place of the such, a uh, free birds or wherever, and when they roll it, the tortilla breaks. You ever had that happen? Then you have to get another outer tortilla to cover the hole of the breakage in right. the original tortilla. Like, yeah, you, you did it right. You're charging me $8 for a fucking burrito. All the ingredients in a burrito are dirt ass cheap. Then they have the audacity to bring queso into the mix. $3 for a side of queso? Chipotle. Get over yourself. My burrito was tiny. Yeah. It was not only $8, it was like 10 something after tax. Yeah. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm cool with spending 10 bucks at lunch. Sure. I've come to accept it. It's going to have, it's going to be an average of $10. An average of $10. Sometimes Mm -hmm. you eat a quick lunch. You might have to grab like the Subway or Mm -hmm. something like that. You're in a hurry. Del Taco. You want to eat fresh, Mm -hmm. you know, get your $6 meal or whatever at Subway. In and out. But sometimes you're spending 10 to $12 on lunch. Sometimes you just, sometimes you get to sit down and you spend $15. But if I'm going to spend 10 bucks at Chipotle or $11 or whatever it was, like, dude, hook it up. Give me food. Throw me, skimp on the meat. That's Mm -hmm. fine. But throw me some rice and beans in there. Fill me up. Yeah. Buttercup, let me have it. I was pissed too. Is that so a sexual I... song? Oh, it's build me up, Buttercup. <laughs> it's like fill me up, Buttercup. <laughs> yeah. X-rated version of I'm gonna that say song. that next time I'm getting fucked. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so Chipotle was shitty. It was shitty. So back to, to the, the fair. fair. Back, back to the fair. Back to the fair. That's chapter seven. <laughs> it would be a Larry David moment if I was like, eh, it's, uh, not fresh squeezed. Give me, give, my, give me my money back. Give me half of my money back. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you got a price for $7, but it's not really. It's the science has fresh squeeze. <laughs> D- there's lemons. There's, you have lemons in baskets. Why don't you squeeze one of those lemons? So I drank the lemonade. Yeah, you drank a fountain lemonade. I did. I drank a sugary, mm-hmm. not fresh squeeze lemonade. Uh, ended up eating some food. Was it carbonated? No. It was okay. not carbonated, but it definitely came out of a nozzle. It was not freshly squeezed. Mm-hmm. It might have been squeezed at one point. Sure, it was squeezed two days ago, and they put it in a jug, and then they... it was squeezed down at the factory, down at the old Coca-Cola bottling plant. Trucked over to the fair down the street, pumped out of a nozzle into my cup. Fresh squeezed. My brain is fresh squeezed. <laughs> I had a corn dog. Great. You, get the, you got the long one, right? Oh, yeah. You don't fuck up and get the short one. No, you get that $6 long dog. Yeah, the one where it has like the weird, it looks like an awkward cock. It always has a weird boil or bend yeah. or some sort of. Yeah, like a broken dick. Imperfection. It looks, yeah, it's weird. So I had that. Uh, had we, we, we had some food. That's pretty much what we did. We walked around, yeah. ate food. That's what we did. Had a dope moment though. Where? Right outside one of the new buildings. Mm-hmm. So. I'm wearing a shirt. Mm-hmm. I'm going to let you guess what shirt. What shirt did Robbie Ray pick <clears throat> out to wear to the fair? I'm assuming amber was the color of your energy and you oh, wore a 311 shirt. Oh, it was that day, my yeah, man. Yeah. So I wore this beautiful 311 shirt that yep. I got as a gift. Mm-hmm. And we're, we're about to walk into a building. Mm-hmm. And this like, I'm just going to go ahead and racially profile, okay? This middle-aged black man that I'm sure play, played the bass. Mm-hmm. Like bald. Gold jewelry, looking dope as fuck. Yeah. Just like walking around like he was just like, like he had some swagger to yeah. him. And I don't mean that in like the cheesy term. Like he's he got, really did. He's got like a Warwick base collection at home. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he's coming out of the, he's coming out of the building and I, we're turning the corner to go in the building and he goes, Hey man, nice shirt, peanut, beat that thing. And I stopped and I turned to Kate and I was just like, that guy just made my day. Yeah. That might've been the best thing I've ever heard. Yeah. I was like, not only did he call me out for wearing a dope shirt, mm-hmm. but he quoted a lyric about the bass player who yeah. is my favorite member of the band. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. I felt so happy. I was walking around with a shit eating grin yeah. the entire time we looked at the cars or whatever the fuck we were doing. Yeah. yeah. I said nothing I else. I look at the cars. We got food too. I got cheese on a stick. We, I got some, uh, what's that shit on a plate? Some Indian shit. Indian taco? A pizza. We shared a pizza. Fair pizza. It wasn't that good. It wasn't great. So that thing. So we were uh, waiting to see Tony, Tony Tone. Uh, 
and there was about a 30 minute lull right across the way. See, it's, it's, it's the fair go to every time I go. It's the rock and roll booth. Rock and rock and rods. Rock and rods or yeah. Or something like that. I want to say rock and Randy, but that's just a friend of mine. I think it's rock and rods. I think it's rock and, and rods. And you go in and man, it's like a Spencer's gifts from 1994 just had a pop up tent. It's fucking amazing. Yeah. These two methed out guys run it. If you're, uh, it's, it, I'm methed. sure if you go to the fair, you swing by rock yeah. and rods. A lot of cool shit. They don't have price tags on nothing. And you ask what it is, and it seems like they're going through their brain to figure out how much money they can get off of you. I think they also quote you based on if you're cool or not. Yeah. Because I heard him saying prices to different people, and I was profiling the people myself. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, yep, he's hooking them up because they're like pot smokers or they're old rockers. But it's like a wall of band t shirts. Like, it's like a defunct band t shirts, shit you haven't seen since like 1995. And then there's belt buckles and there's enamel pens and then there's patches of which I haven't seen in years. It's like, where's he getting all of this shit? He's been carrying that shit around in a soggy cardboard box yeah. for 20 years. They <laughs> still had limp biscuit patches. Yeah. They had a patch. Okay. Who signed off on making a patch for the 90s? Basically, the RC Cola of boy bands. Five? There was a five they patch? They had a five patch, which we all know, baby, when the lights go out. Maybe when the lights go out. So good. The yeah. video. Look it up. Look it up. Do yourself a favor. Look up the video for five, the band five, yeah. five IVE when yeah. the lights go out. Yeah. It's an incredible a, piece of 90s boy nostalgia. boy band patch. I saw a patch in there for A New Found Glory. So the band was called A New Found Glory for their first release that was like their shitty release. And they changed the name to New Found Glory. So he had a patch for A New Found Glory, which I thought, you've been either A, holding onto that for a long time, or you order... Old, old shit. Yeah. There's an old MXPX patch, too. In there. It's all new old stock. That dude's been carrying that no, shit around forever. NOS, NOS, as the kids call it. One observation I made, though. He's really getting in on the uh, enamel pin game. Mm-hmm. I know those are all the rage now. Oh, he was charging prices that uh, went with the market. Everybody's <laughs> sticking them on their jean jackets, on their hoodies, on I've, their hats. I, I've got enamel pins all over my denim jacket. I don't know if I enjoy it on my jacket. I have one. I have one enamel pin. I think I've got like 10 on my jacket. They had some dope enamel pins at Rock and Rods, though. The Grateful Dead collection, collection they had. It was a collection. It was a col- There was two trays of Grateful Dead. It was a Dead. selection. You make your selection at the collection. A collection, a selection. Is that Grateful Dead? Are- yeah, I love Grateful Dead's reggae. Record. They had a shaggy enamel pin. <laughs> it was dope. Yeah. No, they had some awesome Grateful Dead pins. And I wanted one. I was like, hey, Rod, how much you want for this one? It was twenty dollars. He had some that were forty bucks. I'm like, you are an insane meth head. I, I would have paid. I would have gladly handed over a ten, a ten spot, a tenner, a ten spot, maybe maybe eleven to twelve bucks for this Grateful Dead pen, but, but see, not twenty. But you're at the fair. Bucks, no you deal with cash only. You're gonna do ten, fifteen, twenty. Right. No twelves. Get out of here. Two for two for fifteen, one for ten, kind of a vibe. Before we went to the fair. Mm-hmm. So oh, we went to the fair on a whim. Mm-hmm. So we woke up on Saturday morning. Didn't make that plan. No. For the fair, yeah. In fact, we planned to not go to the fair. And the night before we were like, yeah, I don't think we should. We'll go to the fair next year. Did you get a cotton candy fix? Like, I got to get there. I no. Gotta, I got to get in that giant ass Ferris wheel and well, ride some shitty rides. So I live like a mile from the fair. Yeah. yeah. So Saturday morning we wake up and we just kind of decided to go. Mm-hmm. So we went. Mm-hmm. We parked pretty close to the front. Went, got our tickets, went in, had some food. It was so funny because I really didn't want to go. Mm-hmm. But as soon as we bought our ticket, crossed the gate, and walked in and got hit with the state fair smell, yeah, I turned to Kate and I was like, I'm really glad I'm here. I'm really glad we decided to come. And we had a great time. Yeah, We, we people watched. Mm-hmm. Uh, I sat in a bunch of cars I couldn't afford. I, that's my favorite part of the fair. The cars? I love I used to love it because it was the concept. They used to just do concept cars. They don't really do that much anymore because no. there are no concepts anymore. Tesla's just making them. Yeah, <laughs> you just do it. Yeah. I just like, like, I've, al- I've always went through this cycle where I get a vehicle, mm-hmm. I pay said vehicle off for the most part. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm cl- right, right now, my little egg, my little Chevy Sonic that I drive. Almost done. Almost paid off. I think I have about a year left. Mm-hmm. And 
after the fair, I got that itch that, damn, I'd like to have a new ride. Like, cause my car is still new ish, mm-hmm. but it's not new yeah. anymore. Trader in. And my car's not expensive. It's not lavish. Mm-hmm. It's pretty simple. It's a Chevy Sonic. Yeah. It gets me back and forth to work. Mm-hmm. It's got the XM radio. That's cool sure. for now. Do uh, this job. But I, I sat in a few cars and I was like, man, fuck, I want, I want something a little bigger, a little more room. Maybe a little nicer, you know? Are Maybe you, I could for, afford something a little bit nicer. Are you getting that truck bite? Getting the itch for a truck? I didn't. I sat in a truck. You've always been a truck boy. I, I go back and forth. Little kinda, trucks, though. Uh, that red Chevy I had was pretty big. Little truck Robbie. That that was a big truck. But you were like a Ford Ranger Chevy S10 guy. Yeah. Which is weird that you, you did both. I don't have a brand. Usually you're a Ford man or a Chevy man. Yeah, no. I don't have a brand. I, I tell you what. Mm-hmm. Buy American. Apparently, I'm a uh, is a Vietnam or Korea. Where are these cars made? I'm a whatever the fuck you want to give me. I've driven Hondas. I've driven Daewoo. The Daewoo. Was I, that your proudest moment as a car owner when you signed the paper on the Daewoo? It was because I was 18 years old and it was my first car I ever bought myself. You were 18 when you bought the Daewoo? 18 or 19, yeah. Is Daewoo still a car brand? No. Here's the thing about Daewoo. I go to this Daewoo dealership. I test drive this car. I was like, this is a cool car. Had like 30 miles on it. Like, fuck yeah. Signed the papers. They were so cool. My payments were like $200 a month. No down payment. Like it was like, this is great. Three months later, Daywood goes out of business. That dealership is no more. Like, oh, so I can't get parts for this car if anything goes wrong with it? I kind of got fucked. The Daewoo was an interesting vehicle. Yeah. Like, looking back, I'm mm-hmm. picturing your Daewoo. It was white, correct? Yes. My Daewoo Lanos. Was it a f- <laughs> cool name? Like, like, let's complicate this some more. Okay, first of all, we're going to be called Daewoo. Yeah. Like, like an off-brand television. Daewoo makes televisions. Daewoo makes TVs. And they, they originally started out making uh, uh, construction vehicles, like, uh, like Bobcats, like tillers okay. and shit like that. Okay. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to call our brand Daewoo, mm-hmm. all right? We're going to call this model, which was it a four door or a two door? It was a four door. Right. They had a two door version I wanted, but. So you got, we're going to call it the Lanos, mm-hmm. not the Lando. The Lanos. Oh, they had another one called the Laganza. That's right. Third of all, we're going to make the logo look exactly like a pair of underwear. Yep. Why? Mm -hmm. Like, do you ever wonder that? I think about that sometimes. Logos and why they do them? Or just anything big like that. Okay, so Daewoo's a big company. Sure. Short and sweet, but Mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. Somebody signed off on that. Somebody looked at this logo, the head Mm -hmm. of the design team. Mm, Looks good. They poured over this logo. Mm -hmm. Every curve was perfect. Every stroke, every shadow. No one in the meeting went, yeah, it kind of looks like undies. It kind of yeah. looks like draws. Yeah. I think about that with a lot of like car logos, especially like Toyotas. Like what is, is that supposed to be a bull? What is that supposed to be? It's a bull, right? I, I thought so. I've always thought the Toyota logo was a bull. Or like the Mazda logo that's some weird thing. It looks like an H. Kind, kind of. I don't know. Yeah. It's just, uh, who does that? I see that all the time, though. I'll see something. And not, you know, not that I'm the be all end all of graphic design or or decision making in general. Yeah. But I'm just like, really, that got by like uh, like focus groups. Mm-hmm. Like no one raised their hand, said that kind of looks like a dick. Well, think about this. I'm thinking about marketing in general. Why do you have to put the name of your fucking car on the car? Why do you have to put your logo on it? Just they bought it. They bought your car. Well, it's not for the buyer. It's for the person who's going to buy it. it. Well, it's for the person that goes, oh, look at that Daewoo. What is that? Alanos? I need one of those. I get, yeah, you're at the stoplight like, oh, that, look, that, that piece of shit looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I, and marketing just, it's, it all goes back to me like I think it's just an evil thing. I majored in advertising and marketing in college. So it's like, God, it really is fucking evil. Like. I'm going to sell you some shit you don't need. Yeah, it's it, it's all stuff we don't need, yeah. like these cars. Yes. So I'm sitting in these different cars, mm. and I'm like, I'm like, fuck, these are some nice cars. I sat in a couple Hondas. I think I sat in a Chevy or two. I did sit. I sat in a... Sydney Hondas? No, no Hondas, no Daewoo's alike. Uh, I, I buy American. Yeah. I've always had an American car, other than when I briefly had a Volkswagen. Yeah. It, I mean, it's an American company, but they're made in Mexico. Right. Yeah. American owned. Sure. Which is weird now because I know a lot of foreign car companies have plants in America. Sure. So they're yeah, yeah, yeah. foreign-owned, American-made. Mm-hmm. It's all really the, the same. The only true American company uh, is Subaru. Really? Yeah. Subaru. Are you sure? Subaru is American-made. I never knew Locally that. Locally sourced. 
organic cars. Well, that's why fucking hipsters. Grass like, fed <laughs> tires. USDA uh, motor oil in this. Uh, this is a nice Subaru. Your family in Portland, Oregon is really going to enjoy this Subaru Forester. Is this Sam Elliott, the car salesman? I'm Sam Elliott for Subaru. <laughs> So I sat in some cars, mm -hmm. got the itch. I was like, man, I really want a new car. But you know what? I'm so close to getting mine paid off. I'm just like, fuck it, dude. Your car's fine. You know what? Hey, here's an idea. Clean it. <laughs> you ever clean your car deep? Oh, and then you're yeah. like, fuck, this car still got clean it. Car. Except mine now, after doing that road trip, uh, several road trips, uh, it's gotten dings on it from like road shit. I'm like, fuck. And uh, if you go to your car and you notice something on it and you like try to rub it off, like, Fuck. Yep. And I thought, I seriously thought in my head, like, do I just go get it repainted? Get get, get a little touch up. A little paint. touch up. Go down paint. to the dealership. Go down to the Daywood dealership. Get you some Arctic white. Just <laughs> touch that bumper right up. Yeah. The other thing that bothers me is when I see somebody driving a car. And no offense if, if you're listening to this and this is you, but maybe you could email us at boys at boyspodcast.com and explain yourself mm -hmm. because I want a greater understanding of the way your brain works. Mm -hmm. Having said that, the driving around with the busted up car. I know not everybody can just run down to the Daewoo dealership and get it fixed. Yeah. But when I see a car with a huge dent in the side, mm -hmm. I don't know if I could survive, if I could yeah. live, if I could commute with a car. No. like It's, it's wrecked. <laughs> driving around a wrecked car. Like bumpers that are falling off or like... Quarter or panel just missing. Cars that don't have hoods on them. How is that legal? O I think Oklahoma is the one state where uh, we have super, super... We don't even have inspection anymore. No, we nixed when that When I first started ago. driving, we had an inspection. And my dad, <laughs> fucking cat scooping dad... Just getting it, getting it through inspection. Knew a guy who we can take it and get inspection stickers and not really get the car inspected. That's some fucking, that's some shady shit. Yeah, my dad did some shady business. But he thought it was just saving some money. So I'd take my Mustang, which would never pass inspection for shit. Speaking of busted up cars. That Mustang, it was cool. At the time, it was cool. But looking back, that thing was a garbage can on wheels. It was a four-cylinder piece of shit that I had to like put my foot and the gas on at the same time at a, a, a drive through so it wouldn't just blow exhaust and shit on people. <laughs> Man, those sad days of the sad cars. Oh. I, had a, I had a couple of sad boys in my day. The Chevy Lumina. Was that, that the white one? Yeah, with my very first mm. car with a spoiler. Did you have a duster? I had a Dodge... Uh, what was that? A Dodge, uh, Shadow. Shadow. I had a Dodge Shadow, the fart mobile. Yeah, the Dusters was a car, right? Maybe. Okay, we're 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 going on s several different topics. We're talking about beverages, talking about food, talking about the fair, talking about cars, dreaming about women. Never had a plan, just living for the minute. I I we left the car part. We did some walking around. Mm -hmm. Um, we got some more food, and then we left. You never you never just eat once at the fair. No, I should have eaten more mm -hmm. in retrospect. I should have went really hard. Yeah. Because I don't ride rides. Mm -hmm. I don't buy anything. Yeah. Oh, I did the proverbial stick your hand in the hot tub. You always have to stick your hand <laughs> in the hot tub. <laughs> Hold on. I got to walk by and just dip. <laughs> you stick your hand in the hot tub and don't make eye contact with the salesman. Yeah. Hey, you want to. I always thought that was weird that they had those there. Yeah. Just dipping. I'm just dipping. No, why? You know what? Who Who's walking around the fair and then goes. Yeah, I think I'll buy me a hot tub. Well, or a pool. Do you think? Do you think anyone's ever jumped like some drunk dad that's sunburnt, just like jumps in a hot tub, bellies up to the hot tub? I was thinking just like falls in. Like he was just down singing some karaoke at McConnell's. He was singing like I remember when I was young, <laughs> and then he just like falls <laughs> in the fucking hot tub, like belly flops in. Uh, that's funny. The the employees who are dressed like Best Buy employees like run over and like pull him out. Yeah. Oh, I bet it's happened. Yeah. I bet it's happened. Anyways, the fair was cool. I'm really glad that I went. Yeah. I spent, even though we didn't go super hard on the food, we had a few things. I probably spent 50 bucks yeah, on food. Just, yeah. But I should have spent 100. Yeah, we, we went to do the deep fried fat kid thing and ended up uh, mm, getting, getting full. That's what they're going to sell next year. Deep, Deep fried, fried fat, fat kids. kids. We take the porkiest little 
fruits and throw them right into so deep we, fryers. We, we, we walk around the midway and you're they have all those games and like I never I'm not a game guy. I know they're fucking me. I know the the basketball rim is bent. I know all the tricks of the trade. But I like seeing the flashing lights. Like the rides. I don't ride the rides, but I really enjoy being around Yeah. The I lights. do too. I like to I like to stand by them. Yeah. Like I don't get on the rides, mm-hmm. but I like to be by them when they're running. Yeah. I also do a total dad thing and it's like, oh just in case, how much tickets? Oh, that's a lot. Oh, how many tickets per ride? And then you see the ticket the ticket per ride to ticket you get with your money. Right. And it doesn't fucking add up. No, it's bullshit. It's a, it's expensive yeah. to ride rides. It's like you can get four tickets for X amount of money, but this ride's five tickets. I think about that. I thought about that when I was there. How much money the fare is raking in? Yeah. Because we showed up. Well, you got to pay those carnies. Yeah. The carnies make good money, I'm sure. I bet. Uh, we got their health insurance 401k with the carny. I don't know. Blue cross, blue carny. <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we got there right when the fair opened and it was, there was like a little bit of a crowd to get in. Nothing crazy. But yeah. by the time we left, it started getting busy. Oh, nighttime like, time's the right busy. time at the fair. We went first thing in the morning. Yeah. We went on dad time. Did you see the guy? There's a guy selling uh black light and like those light up glow sticks and shit. There was masks. Yes. That LED masks that creep me the fuck out. That is that like a trend now? I've seen them on Instagram, like when I go over to the explore tab. LED masks? Just those masks in general. Yeah. Like I think they're like for Trump supporters or like MMA fighters. You talking about like the the uh, the the like the winter soldier kind of masks? Yeah, or yeah. I see them on like motorcycle riders. They'll have yeah. like they have like a skull on the bottom yeah. half. Is that a thing? I kind of like the glowing shoes. Yeah, when did that come back? When did LA lights come back? I saw it on a wrestler named Naomi. She's on uh, SmackDown, I believe, Tuesday nights on the USA Network. But they're LA lights, right? They look like Yeezys had a baby with LA lights. The LEDs go all the way around. Yeah. And they're like bright green or electric blue or shocking pink. I had a pair of LA lights when I was a, a youngster. And uh, I got made fun of. I thought they were supposed to be cool. Apparently, you, they were for girls. Like, girls wore no, LA lights. No, no. Because I clearly remember a basketball-themed LA Lights commercial. Mm-hmm. I think maybe Shaq was in it or somebody. I can't yeah. remember. Well, Shaq was the Reebok guy with the pumps. Okay. You're right. I don't, I don't remember who it was then. But it was a basketball player, mm-hmm. a male basketball player. And he was talking about the LA Lights. But his LA Lights were different. They had, like, a light on the back. That you could take out. Yeah, I remember that. But then some of the LA lights had them just on the side, kind of where like the Nike Air Biscuit yeah, was. Air Biscuit. That's what I used to call it, the Air Biscuit. Anyways. Air Biscuit. Well, it's like a little biscuit of air. It's like for your heel. I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. I need to ask you something. Ask me away. And we're totally changing the subject here, but I put this on the list. Remix. And I had to ask you about this. Ask me, bro. So Kate and I have this thing that we do. It's real cute. It's called vape talk. Okay. At I night. I you say something else. Like it was a weird thing. It's called. Oh, ain't nothing cute about that. <laughs> so we have this thing called vape talk. And vape talk. Uh, because uh, neither of us smoke cigarettes. Yep. Uh, but we, we both do enjoy a, a puffing, puffing the vape every now and then, yeah. uh, which is super cool. So every night before bed, we like. We like lay in there and we just talk for a while. Like we have the the light on the nightstand and we just talk about whatever. Sure. It's just like, it's tummy time. It's vape talk. Mm -hmm. Anything goes. We just talk about whatever (laughs) while my ambient kicks in and then I get weird. Then I'm like, okay, I got to go to sleep. I'm getting weird. I don't. I, I, in fact, I said that the other night. I was like, I need to go to sleep. I'm feeling weird. I don't want to say anything weird and went to bed. Anyways, I got to thinking. Got this thinking. About. Got to pinkin. Mechanical pencils. Okay. I see this here. Now, were you, I wanted to ask you, my good friend, Mm -hmm. were you, I liked to draw a lot when I was a kid. Yes. I loved my mechanical pencil. Yeah. And I had a brand. Mm -hmm. I had a kind. I had, I had a a color. I had a lead thickness. I had my mechanical pencil. Did you ever have your pen or your pencil? No. Honestly, when I think back on that kind of thing, I'm like, do you ever have like one of those moments of where did it go wrong? Like at what point in my life sent me on the journey of being me? 
I have that moment all the time. I think I've like the thing of if I would have just tried harder, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Mechanical pencils. I did not use mechanical pencils. I liked them uh, tactily. I liked the feel of them, but I always broke them like immediately. So I, they, they made me real anxious and angry to use them. They were a precision instrument. It's, it's for a person of a, a higher caliber to use. I'm not saying that I was <laughs> dumb. I just, I was, a, I was a C student. I ought okay. to say that. I was a C student. I still am. I'm a C student in life. <laughs> I'm getting by. I'm just getting by. What's wrong with that? I passed. I think I told a teacher that much. Like, if you just applied yourself, like, I passed, right? Cool. It's true. Yeah. You, that, you, you raise a really good point. Mm-hmm. The mechanical pencil isn't for everyone. It is not for everyone. But, you know, I I, I am a mechanical pencil kind of guy. But see, that, that's But you. I'm lacking but, in other mm-hmm. areas. Like, I can't use a tool to save my life. I am so not handy. I have a tool set as a homeowner. You called it a tool set. That's yeah, right. That's how exactly. <laughs> like, I don't have a shed. I don't need... Nary a box. Mm-hmm. I have a set. I have a tool set. It's like, cool. Hey, anything need tightened? <laughs> I gotcha. I got two Phillips, one large one, one small no, one. No, no, no. One. One of each. <laughs> one Phillips. I've got like, I think like 15 different flat heads and like 15 different Phillips heads. I got a drill. I've got a ratchet set. I've got all that shit. Do I know how to use it all? Hell no. Mm. No. But I got it. Well, I got to thinking about the mechanical pencil, which to me Mm -hmm. was a tool. And I did think about, in fact, I said this during vape talk. I was like, you know, I wish I would have just kept drawing. Mm -hmm. I've had many hobbies, dare I say many talents over the years. But if I would have just kept drawing, I could have had a dope job. And Kate goes, like what? And I was like, I don't know, drawing boobs? Doesn't that sound like a fun job? A boob drawing? Just drawing erotic art. That sounds like a that, Frank, that sounds like a dream job. A Frank Frazetti or yes. whatever his name is. Yeah. Uh Frank Fieri, yeah. Frank Hey guys, these ancient Egyptian tits are off the chain. Yeah. Welcome to Titty Town. Titty Town. Uh, I would love to draw erotic art. Yeah. I see a lot of it on my Instagram. That's a dream. But of it's mine. not like snake pit shit where you're drawing like a cock coming no, out of a pussy. No, it's like classy. And, yeah. Oh, cock. Pussy, jeez. So I got to think. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Cock is fine. <laughs> Pussy's where you draw the line. It, with a mechanical pencil. I was thinking about nostalgia yeah, and yeah. these mechanical pencils. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to show you a picture and you tell me if that rings a bell. <clears throat> yes. Ah. So not only did I have my mechanical pencil, mm-hmm. which was, a, I forget the brand, but it was the kind that had the little clicker on the side. So you can push it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, okay, so there was the... there the, was The shitty ones. The shitty... The Bic. The one that where you, you push the eraser part. Right. But yeah. see, now I'm a Bic man through and through. I absolutely love yep. those Bic black or clear mechanical pencils with the white erasers mm-hmm. and they have the different color pocket part. Right. I love those. Use them use them all the time for D&D, for drawing. Sure, but the other ones had like a little a little push button on the side. Yeah, it's like like you're like, you know, make the holding a pencil motion where your uh, pointer finger is. That's where the clicker yeah. was. Click, click, love click. that. So, I got to thinking about pencil lead and then I was like, "Oh, I remember they sold they sold, let me see, I'm trying to see what brand this is. Oh, it's Pentel, of course. The Super, mm-hmm. and they they were like little clear plastic boxes of refillable leads. Yeah. Because when you got a good mechanical pencil, a precision instrument, yeah. it was not disposable. No, I feared them. So you had your .5, which had the black lid, mm-hmm. and then you had your .7. Which was the flat. The blue lid. Yeah. Well, no, there were two different sizes. So mm-hmm. these little diamond jokers here, those were like a small amount of lead then these big boys I'll tell you what you beg your dad for one of those at walmart you got a lot of lead for yourself to put in your pencil okay that, okay uh, some things i didn't like that lasts me a month um when the lead runs out then you got to refill it and then you have you ever done the thing where you, it's running out and you click it and then the, it just falls out yeah, it just like, slides out like, ah shit it's like a play-doh fun factory it just like goes that's what i'm saying it, 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 so it's a frustrating instrument you ever done like this? I, I've done this a lot, and I brought this up during vape talk too. Uh, on the on the Bic style mechanical mm-hmm. pencils, you know that eraser starts to wear down. It sure does. You pull that eraser out, you wad up a little piece of paper, stick it down in that crevice, put the eraser back in, boom, 
You just got yourself some length on that eraser. Did not know that. I did not know that. Life hack. I was making up life hacks in the third grade, fourth grade. Love those things. Pre-hack life hacks? Pre-hack. Pre, pre, pre-internet life hacks. Pre-meme. I was did, pre-meme in the hack. Were you going around school going, hey guys, you know when the eraser falls out? Check this out. Boom. Speaking of, being, being a little art boy that I was, so I mm-hmm. had my mechanical pencil. Mm-hmm. If somebody took that mechanical pencil or if i lost well, they that were mecha- expensive they were like five bucks in they 80s money expensive. but then to add to my collection of, of precision instruments to add to my collection the selection do you remember the erasers that clicked out yeah like yeah, they, yeah. Drrr, and yeah. then it'd be like a long floppy <laughs> yeah, yeah. i Don't never flop it too hard it'll break it'll be, it will break it'll fall right out I loved those erasers. Yeah. Uh, I blame mechanical pencils and those erasers for me having a fascination with box cutters. Oh, yeah. Like, Dangerous. It's just that the, 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 it's the sound of the click and the feel of the click. It's the tactile yeah. resistance of the slider bar that yeah. has a little click going up. Yeah. But I never got those, though. The, uh, the box cutters that you click them out and then you just, like, break some of the blade off when it's done. Yeah, that's a shitty box cutter. That you seems like a good box cutter. But that seems dangerous. Yeah, you're just very dangerous. Blade shards everywhere in your trash can. Yeah, it's gonna cut. It's gonna cut the bag. Yeah, I don't know. No, a uh, bag of dead cats. I I feared mechanical pencils because when I was a kid, uh, a nerdy kid or a stinky kid, whatever. But let's not nerd shame. No, let's shame this kid. But back when let's nerds were actual loser. fucking nerds, like not oh, I'm a nerd. I blah 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 blah. No, this kid got stabbed with a mechanical pencil by a fucking trashy bully. And he had lead stuck in his arm for like ever, probably still to this day. Can that hurt you? Lead? Can lead hurt you? People, you could die from. I don't think it's lead. I think it's graphite, which is different. Well, then they lead is poisonous. I don't think graphite is poisonous. But I wouldn't want to walk around with no lead in my pencil. uh, It's like it's 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 a it's a weapon. You just gave a kid a weapon. Anything can be weaponized. I can't wear my chain to school, but this kid can stab motherfuckers with the mechanical pencil. So you didn't have a, you didn't have a pencil. You didn't have a. I was, I was. Did I you was, ever draw? Like, like, sure, did you ever really yeah. get into drawing? I mean, I drew Ninja Turtles all the time. Uh, we, I've seen them on the Instagram. As discussed. Oh God, it's terrible. No, I, I always wanted to. This goes back to C student. Uh, I would try. And then if I didn't do it well, I was like, ah, fuck this. I'm not good at it. I was more of a poet. I wrote poetry and wrote stories. I didn't really like, I couldn't draw. So I had a buddy who was really good at drawing. So he drew pictures for me. Like, hey man, can you draw this? Like he showed me how to draw. It's like prison. Okay. Did you ever draw? Show me a clown coming out of a low rider. (laughs) A profile, like just a profile of someone. I used to draw that. I was really good at drawing biceps and arm. Like, uh, what are these? Like bicep? That's a bicep. Yeah, this whole part of the arm profile like a muscle guy. A, with, a classic drawing of a muscle man. Uh, a muscle man with a sleeveless shirt with a hoodie because I couldn't draw faces. <laughs> so it was a hoodie. Just and cover like, it right up. And hair and like a nose coming out like. And I would draw that with band guys too. I would just draw like like them head banging with long hair because I couldn't draw faces. And I couldn't draw hands. So I would draw. I would draw these punk rock characters with hands in their pockets, like the blah shirt. Right. Very much that. Cause I can't draw hands. Right. I could draw, I'll draw you a Converse all-star like a motherfucker. But other than that, no, I really wasn't an artiste. I wouldn't draw boobs. You seem like the kind of kid who would draw boobs and jerk off to it. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I <laughs> never. Didn't you talk about that on the podcast? Like you, somebody drew a picture of boobs or something i don't know i don't know but i i've been known to draw a boob or two in my life now do you do it usually two at a do time do you do a comic style or do you a realistic tit i was more of a comic book style guy like i i a gen 13 kind of a tit exactly that or you know the x-men or, or wild cats or something like mm-hmm. that i i would draw i would draw pervy pictures in my room as a you know, 12, 13, 20 year old boy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I would take a comic book yeah. and I would look at that for inspo and I would like recreate inspiration. It. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I wasn't saying that I was, there wasn't a jab. There wasn't a Tyson Mayweather jab at you. I'm saying if I had the artistic ability to do that, I would have done the same fucking it's thing. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun to beat off to something. Make you your create. own porn. Yeah. yeah. You know, isn't have, that what we're doing being in bands? You're just jerking yourself off. It's the same thing. Yeah. Just a different kind of gratification. Yeah. Anyways, yes, I've drawn a boob or two in my day. Boob or two. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot what I was going to say, Josh. Oh, we got to end the show here pretty soon. 
But I did want to bring something up. Speaking of Larry <clears throat> David moments, yeah. kind of had one myself at the Against Me show the other night. Yeah? Yeah. Apparently I got one too. You go ahead. All right. So we go to the, we go to the Against Me show, Josh and I, mm-hmm. the boys. Uh, we see the Dirty Nil. We mm-hmm. see our friends in Bleached. Mm-hmm. We see Against Me. Mm-hmm. Great night. So I run into a, a group of people you're talking to. I go to get a, a beverage. I see that you're talking to a group of young men. Not so young men anymore. Mm-hmm. None of us are that young. And a certain Jeff, I'm going to make sure I pronounce his name wrong. Mm-hmm. Kresba? Krebsbeck. Krebsbeck. Yeah. Krebsbeck. Sorry, Jeff. Uh, he said, hey, man, you know I work at Zoomies. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I had forgotten that I mentioned something about how you could steal from Easily Zoomies. Easily steal a beanie from yes. Zoomies. Yeah. So I just want to go on record. Public apology to Jeff. My friend Jeff. My good old friend Jeff. Sorry about that, man. But I had I had a moment. I was like, oh, no, am I going to get in a fight at the Diamond Ballroom? Yeah. You can't really steal. Yeah. I was joking. I was testing. Oh, no, I mean, they, they keep an eye on that shit. Sorry, Jeff. They're tight. What was your moment? Uh, it involves Jeff. Uh, Jeff and I have Krebsbaugh? hung out. Yes. Kreb, yeah. Krebsbaugh. <laughs> what? Rock the Krebsbaugh. Ba, rock. Oh. So Jeff moment? and I uh, used to hang out all the fucking time. Like we were buddies. We were right hand man to one another. And uh, that night we're like, fuck it, let's hang out. So we had some beers, got a little tipsy. And uh, he brings up, hey, on the podcast, you guys talk about never going up front. Let's fucking go. So we go up front, hang out for the show. Everything was fine, right? Great. The other night I go to the speakeasy to bring buttons. It's the 10th anniversary of the speakeasy is next. Actually, when this drops, it will be the 10th anniversary weekend of the speakeasy. Kevin, there's going to be drink specials, a lot of bands, comedians, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be Are they paying for this? It's free. It was a joke. Go oh, on. are they paying for the spot? No. <laughs> uh, so I made buttons for it. And I'm taking these buttons in. And then a regular there goes, hey, I'm really kind of pissed off at you and your buddy. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's like against me show. And I thought you were talking about you and me. I was like, what did we do? He's like going up front like that. That was really rude. And I thought he was joking. But he was like, you know, you kind of just pushed yourself in front of like a man, a man and his kid. Like, no, like I just went up front. Yeah. He's like, <sighs> Who was this? Real punk rock of you. Who was this? I'm, I'm not going to name it. Okay, tell names. me after. I'll tell yeah, you yeah. after. Okay. So, and, and I got in my head, I got really in my head about it. Like, wait, was that, was it, was it rude to go? Is it rude now to go up front? There was a, there was a line. Yeah, it wasn't exactly assholes to elbows in there. It wasn't the busiest show I've seen at the time. Yeah. Should have been. By the end of the night, it turned out okay, but it it started out a little slow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Interesting. Yeah, it made me think like, well... Kenan, is that rude? Am I too old? Am I too old to go up front now? Is that what it is? If I were like 18, it'd oh, just a teenager going yeah, up front. Go on. But go on now. 35, you're like, come on, dude. You don't need to go up front. You don't. You but need it, to sit in the back like a dad and well, put your beer on your stomach here's and you have a thing. ring on your t shirt. Went up front. It's like, this is cool. But you know what? I'm having to move my head. I have to look up. I go in the back. I could see everything. The acoustics are better. I can hear everything. You know what? Best seat in the house, close to the restroom. Dad in the back. Yeah. That shitty smelling restroom. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the, the the Larry David moments are real. Mm-hmm. We have them all the time. All the time. I have about one a week. Probably about one a week. I have a Larry David moment. Hey, write us at Boys at Boys podcast with your Larry David moment. I absolutely love the Larry David moment. Mm-hmm. I love hearing about them. I love sharing them. Yeah. So nothing would make me happier yeah. than to hear. And we'll share it on the app. Ep- Next Your time. Larry David moment. Yeah. We'll put a bed of that Larry David music under there. Right. Cool. Well, dude, all right, let's wrap up. Thank you guys for listening. Wrap it up. We're going to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Until next week. Bye.